Hi hey y'all, it's Denise Becker and I'm coming on to show you my latest batch of cards I had to make for uh, my daughter for her theater class. She wanted to give some thank you cards. Uh, yeah, thank you cards. And uh, she also wanted a little um, uh, like gift card holder. Well, they're, no, they're going in the card because these took forever. But I just wanted to show you what I used. They're, I love them. I, I absolutely love them. Um, first thing, I used these. Um, let me see what they're called because I never remember. It's called Split Card Textured Dies. And there's two of them. This, uh, I, guess a, I guess you'd call that plaid and then a, a floral. And what you do, uh, my outside layer on, I usually make A2 size cards. So my outside layer is five and a quarter by four. So you just take one of these dies. You don't go all the way to the top because you need a little border. You know, just a, just a, your normal like quarter of an inch or eighth, whatever you prefer. I like a quarter of an inch. Well, I didn't cut that good, but anyway. Yeah, so you just layer it, you know, get it get it on there. And I, I always use washi tape when I die cut. And um, you just run it through and cut it out. And... Uh, it's the floor. They're both beautiful. I mean, I... Again, this is the first time I'm using this. It's so ridiculous. There's the floral. You just do the same thing. And you can put them anywhere you want. I did them all different ways. Uh, all my cards are a little bit different, but these are gorgeous. So that's that's how you use those. Just cut your, your layering piece, put that on there, and it, it leaves the negative space like you can see here. It leaves leaves the card intact. That's why you leave a border up here, because otherwise it would, you know, just cut to pieces. So you leave a border, and then it leaves the negative. And behind it, you cut. Uh, the demonstrator I got this tutorial from said cut a three by five. Well, I found that a little bit short. Uh, I could see some edges, so I went to three and an eighth by five and an eighth, and just. Uh, glued it right along the edges on the back. I should have showed y'all all this, but it's, it's a lot of steps into making these cards. Uh, I went leaf crazy on this one because I got a big giant ink spot up there because I was blending. Uh, it was it was just awful. So I'm going, I'm going, oh my God, I either have to start all over, die cut more, you know, things, or I'm going to make it work. So it, it is a little leaf uh, heavy, <laughs> but I still like it. And fortunately, I was able, uh, I used the gold to cut out the pumpkins. And I'll show you all the stamp set. Fortunately, I was able to stamp all of these little flowers, and I used five on each one, on this, the scan and cut, which was fantastic. And also this uh, little uh, uh, sentiment label up here, wishing you the loveliest day. So Trina, and the leaves, and the leaves, I was able to stamp all those. And, uh, and they just cut out beautifully. And I just had to die cut the little, I don't know what they're called, little, I call them little curly cues from the pumpkin thing. And I uh, die cut those out on my little mini die cut machine, which is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, so I put some uh, in landscape, put it on top. Uh, some are, whoops. And I gotta put bling on, I forgot to put the bling, I'm doing that now. Some are, uh, portrait and you know it's the, the split sections on this side they're all a little different but the same pumpkin and the little curly cues uh, and I'll show on the inside I actually did cut this sentiment out on the scan and cut but it just didn't work on the front it just did not work so, and I had used my blending brushes um, I don't know if y'all use those they are where is my blending brush I have, uh, I don't have enough from Stampin' Up! I've got to get more, but I just used my um, blending brush and just lightly went around the uh, edges in uh, crushed curry, and then I stamped uh, the leaf and then stamped again, uh, stamped off, you know, like it's called second generation stamping, and you get a lighter version of this, and then I inked it up, stamped it off on a, you know, scrap paper and stamped it again, so that's how you get that effect. Uh, yeah, this is the full first generation and second generation stamping is what it's called. So I ended up using the little sentiments anyway, and, spun, and I thought that that added um, a little something something to it. And I used um, the inside of this paper. Uh, this was this piece. 
that I covered up the, you know, the die cut. And I also use the same paper on the inside just to bring the um, outside into the inside. So I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. Uh, Trina, you just made it so much easier for me, honey. Thank you so much. I think they're beautiful. Um, I don't know, what do y'all think? Is it over, overly done? I just, well, I did, I did have to cover this up because I, I, you know, with the blending brushes and I had ink pads open, so of course, I, you know, I stick my finger in it and touch it. Uh, I had to cover that up. Otherwise, it would have been ruined. So, uh, yeah, that's a little probably too much, but there was also a lot of white space over here, and this is not embossed down here, so it just kind of, I was like, mm, I don't know, I think it needs something. But, so I, I ended up with, with that. And the same thing, I used this inside paper on as a layer on the inside of here, which is, this is also five and a quarter by four, and then the white layer on the inside is five, five across by three and seven eighths. I just come down a quarter of an inch increments on each layer, but you can do it any way you want. Some, some people like little tiny eighth of an inch borders. I can never get those straight, so I go with the quarter inch and I, I really like it. So I just use the blending brush around there because I had intended to use it on the front, but it just didn't work. She needed, um, thank you. And this says, so, uh, so thankful for you. And I thought this was, you know, kind of appropriate, you know, Thanksgiving time. And um, I think it's gorgeous. I love these split textured dies. Did I put a bling on any? Yeah, this one I got some bling on. Little gold, um, these sham I love so much. These uh, champagne rhinestones. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, for this one right here, if you can see in the background, it's, it's this, it's actually this. This is one side and this is the other. All the, the back backgrounds are all black and white. Well, I just used my blending brushes and I used Mary Merlot and Crushed Curry and just blended, like, you know, blended all the, this entire, entire piece and uh, did the same thing on here. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can just do the very edges because they're not gonna show. But then I had, uh, this card, I think I layered, put it on wrong and I had to take it up and it looked kind of off like, so I just took, I had a little bit of, of um, ink left on my little, little brush. So I just went ahead and sponged it lightly around and I really like that effect too. I absolutely love these cards. I think they're beautiful. They took me forever because there's a lot of steps involved and I've still got to put the little, um, uh, rhinestones on but I'm you know I want, tried to make them all different you know different similar but yet like this one opens this on the top landscape and this one uh, portrait and the, the die is on this side sometimes they're on the like this one's on the other side and I made two of each color card base like this is early espresso Cajun craze uh, Mary Merlot, um, what is that? Uh, Mossy Meadow, Mossy Meadow for that one. So I made eight cards all together. And I just thought, uh, and when also when you're when you're um, putting an image on your card, you, you kind of, you know, you wouldn't want to put the pumpkin like in the middle or, you know, like hanging, like it's hanging in the air, unless you put something to ground it, you know, like something. So that's why I wanted these little flowers down here because it looks like it's sitting on something. It's not just hanging in the air. So just, you know, uh, when you keep that in mind, when you're making a card, you kind of want to, and you could put it in, in the center and then put the flowers around it, you know, as long as it doesn't look like it's just hanging in the air. So uh, yeah, that's the crushed curry piece I used back there and uh, inside, and it based, I did the same thing inside. I went ahead and just used those um, labels that I, I mean, uh, sentiments that I was gonna use on the front. I just put them on the inside, and I like that little shading effect and stamped the little leaves. So I think they're beautiful. I love the paper. Um, it was a lot, let me tell you. I had ink covered, in, I was covered in ink. Uh, and I still got to put the little um, rhinestones on, but uh, at least they're done. They're done. And I'm not making a gift card holder. Their gift card's going right in the card. Right in the card. 
Aren't they beautiful though? I mean, I really, really like these. It took me forever, even though the scan and cut did save me a lot of time uh, because there's, it, it's not hard, nothing hard about it. It just takes time, you know, because you're die cutting this, die cutting this paper, gluing it behind, putting the pumpkin together. You can see it's like, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's popped up, so it's really, and, it, and it's embossed, I don't know if you can tell. But the die, it doesn't come with a stamp, it's just a standalone die. It does have, the stamp set does have a pumpkin, and it's beautiful too. But I wanted the gold, I just thought that looked prettier. So yeah, here's my thank you cards for Amy. And this is a stamp set, it's called Hello Harvest. Absolutely gorgeous, I got it in the mini catalog. I can't wait to get my new catalog. It should be here any day. It's this is oh this is another beautiful pumpkin I've 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 uh, di stamped and die cut out and it's got this pretty little uh, flower little uh, yeah and it's got the layers the dies for, here's the standalone dies for the little pumpkin you just put them together what well, am I even showing you you just put them together die cut them oh good lord put them together like that and then there's a little little stem and it actually embosses it so that's why I wanted to use the gold but it's a really really pretty 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 stamp set uh where did I get I got the thank you what did I get that must have been from another oh yeah I must have used another I can't remember which one it was now I put it away used another stamp set for this um sentiment I think that's beautiful. So, yeah, I'm in love with these um, split, whatever the heck they are. I cannot remember the name of this. Uh, split card textured, texture, is it texture? Yeah, split card textures dies. They're beautiful. So I can see making a ton of cards with this. And, um, yeah, everything, from, to me, everything from, there's nothing I don't like about Stampin' Up. I'm just a fanatic about it. But anyway, I hope y'all like these. And uh, if you come across some, you know, dies like this, give it a try. Just make, if it, if it, you know, make sure you leave a border so it doesn't, if you didn't, it would just cut, cut it completely out. So you just leave a border and there you go. And I got these little curlicues all over the place that I had to die cut. There's no stamp for that. I just die cut it out of paper, cardstock. But I think they came out so pretty and, uh, I made them all, you know, they're the same, but all different. And I just love them. So Trina, thank you so much, my darling, uh, for this scanning cut because I've used it over and over. Did I show you all my envelopes? And, um, you know, make sure you check the back of the envelope and you're stamping it in the right place because you don't want to send 93 Christmas cards in the mail that are upside down. Didn't happen to me, but you know who you are. So check the back. Make sure you stamp your envelopes in the right direction. <laughs> I died laughing when I read that. I mean, it's sad, but poor thing. 93 cards that she st stamped upside down and poor postman's waiting on her and <laughs> waiting on her. But anyway, yeah, that just cracked me up, that story. So, uh, yeah, so here's the envelopes and the gift card is going right in there. No more. I'm done. I'm done. Done, done, done. And in the nick of time. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these cards. I think they're, I like them. I like them a lot. I'd like to make a set of these. I think they're beautiful. Took me forever. I won't lie, but I think the, uh, it was worth it. Well worth it. So, hope y'all like them. So, thank you so much for watching, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.